Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about piano actions, uh, more specifically keyboard touch, or it's also known as velocity. Some manufacturers call it velocity settings, others call it velocity curve, some call it touch settings, touch curve. They all mean the same thing for all intents and purposes of this particular video. And basically, uh, to define it in a nutshell, some people go over to um, an acoustic piano and they find that it has kind of a stiff setting and they have to play a little bit harder than they're used to. Uh, Schimmel uh, manufactures pianos and for example, they've got a, a really hard setting. You have to play a little bit harder. You go over to some of the uh, concert grounds from Samick and it's going to have a feather light touch so it's real light. Fortunately, when you're using a digital piano, most manufacturers give you a way to adjust that. And again, it's called um, touch settings or touch velocity or velocity settings, velocity curve, whatever. And on this Kawai MP11, for example, it's such an important setting that it's right here in the front. Right now, I've got this set for a light setting. <laughs> So I don't really have to play or press these notes very hard to make the keys sound the way I want. Now it has five different settings plus a bunch of different user settings, but the five different settings are basically heavy plus, heavy, normal, light, and light plus. So among one of those five settings, you're going to find what's comfortable for you. Now if I go over here, you probably can't see it, to this heavy plus setting, Playing pretty heavy so you can hear that and let me just go all the way to the other end of the spectrum to light light plus with the same setting it sounds a little bit louder but I don't really need to play very I can do a very soft touch and when I go back to the heavy plus that same thing really don't hear much because I need a lot more pressure on these keys to get to the same result. So anyway, the bottom line of this is I've noticed in my videos and talking to people and reading some of the forums that there seems to be a problem that uh, people don't even realize that there's a problem. And let me just give it to you by uh, example. The Kawai MP11 uses what they call a grand feel action, and I think, personally, for me, it is the best keyboard action in the world for a slab piano. And if you listen to people like me and read the forums and all that stuff, it kind of tends to be a little bit of a light action. So you're surprised to read on the forums or to hear from somebody else that goes to their local retailer and they try one of these out and they say, what is everybody talking about? This thing has a really heavy action. I don't like it. And the rest of the world says otherwise. So what's the deal? The deal is Somebody goes into a Kawaii dealer or any place else, whatever keyboard you're looking at doesn't have to be a Kawaii, it can be a Roland, Casio, Kurzweil, Nord, doesn't matter. So they go in, and if they know how to do this, they will alter the touch setting so that they feel comfortable with it. So somebody that goes in here and tries a Kawaii MP11, for example, puts it on a heavy settings. And they're comfortable and they leave it like that so the next person that comes in may be you and you're anticipating a light setting and you walk up to the keyboard and you're like hey oh this is too heavy of a setting for me oh that's what is everybody talking about so that's what's going on and it's not just Kawhi, it's any brand that you try 
So I urge you the next time you go to a brick and mortar store to try out a keyboard, make sure you're armed with the information of knowing how to change that key setting, the uh, touch setting, the velocity setting, the key touch, whatever they call it. Go and download the user manual. They're readily available on whatever manufacturer that you're looking for. Go to their manufacturer's website, find the model you're looking for, download the manual, or go to some of the online forums, pianoworld.com. That's a good forum to start with. Uh, Musicplayerforum.com, another one. Uh, there's Nord has their own forums. Casio has uh, CasioMusicForums.com. So if you're looking at any of those, find out in advance how to adjust the key velocity or the velocity settings or the key touch before you go to the store. And don't count on the salesman to know how to do that. All right, they're there to sell you, and they're going to talk about all the positive things they learned about in their classroom to try and push that on you. And you're not going to learn about how to change the key settings. Download the manual, read up on it, or go to one of those particular forums I mentioned and ask. People are readily willing to chime in and help you out with that. So that is the deal with keyboard touch settings. It's so important. And I have to urge you to go out and read up or ask up on it how to do that. Because if you're going to go and expect something that's really light and you get to the store and you find you need to drop a ton of bricks on it to make it sound any key, you're not going to be happy. All right. So I hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.